as a process engineer in our company, will present to you about the production of 1,3-propane diode. At first, I will begin with the chemical formula which is C3H8O2 for the chemical formula. And below, we can see the molecular structure of 1,3-propane diode. The chemical structure have a hydroxyl, two hydroxyl group, so that the name have diol behind it. And for the chemical characteristic, uh, it is colorless, viscous liquid, and it is miscible with water. Next, for the physical properties of this 1,3-propane diol. The first one I got is the molecular weight which is 76.09 gram per mole and the test is sweet the boiling point is 200 degrees celsius the flash point 174 degree fahrenheit the ignition temperature and the density this all is the physical properties of this chemical there are many usage of this chemical 1,3-propane diol and as you can see beside is a side usage uh, one of them as a resin, as a powder coating, film, solvent but the main usage of this chemical 1,3-propane diol is as the polytrimethylene terephthalate and for this polytrimethylene, we can get clothes carpet, automobile, and fiber. Next is for the chemical reaction route for 1,3-propane diol. Alright, uh, the part we usually use in the industry, they use a reactant ethylene oxide and acrolein. But this reactant have their disadvantages which is its starting material from petroleum including many byproducts and it is poor selectivity it needs high temperature and pressure and it needs expensive catalyst now recent study shows that glucose or glycerol as the reactant have their advantages which is they use renewable sources and it is biological process uh, because have fermentation which can reduce the greenhouse gas emission all right this is the chemical pathway for the production of 1,3 propane diol uh, the raw material is basically glycerol and it will undergo direct hydrogenolysis to produce 1,3-propane diol but uh, before it produce 1,3-propane diol it will undergo dehydration which will produce intermediate before it can produce the main product this is for the market analysis demand and supply of the production of 1,3 propane diol. This is the bar chart for the global 1,3 propane diol market volume by the year of 2013 to 2022, and it show growth for every year, which is growth by 10.4 percentage, and it is show that the market demand was. 140.5 kilotons in 2013 and it keep increasing year by year and the consumption highest in americans region which is 75 percent of total market and dupont Ted and lyle is the largest producer of 1,3 propane diol in the world. Uh, for this uh, production, I propose the plant location at Asia and the production capacity of 100 million pounds per year. 
Alright, before I go for the process flow diagram, this is our block diagram for this production of 1,3-propendiol. It contains of four steps before we can get the target product. The first step is for the fermentation. Fermentation which the glycerol or glucose we added as substrate in the fermenter. And for the second step is the solid liquid separation. In this step, a removal microbial cell by using membrane filtration or high speed centrifugation. In this process, we need to adjust pH by adding flocculant into the brood. And the third step will be the primary recovery. Removal of impurities and primary separation of 1,3-propendiol from the fermentative brood. And the last step will be the final purification to get the target product. The final purification occur by using the vacuum distillation and preparative liquid chromatography. Now this is basically our process flow diagram for this production of 1,3-propendiol. The first one I start with the fermentation fermentator aerobic fermentation of bacteria Klebsiella in the first step. They are then transferred into seed fermenter where the reaction proceeds. The fermenter happen is in exothermic reaction. Then the tank is strained to microfilter unit MF where biomass is being removed. The content of the storage tank are pumped to ultra filtration unit UF and nano filtration unit both which batch process happen. For the third one, water is being removed from the triple effect evaporator and the biomass will be dumped here. And for the purification step, the last step is the last step, the final purification will happen in this two vacuum distillation. The final main product will produce is 1,3-propendiol and the side product is 2,3-butanediol. This is for the environmental issue for the production of 1,3-propendiol. The first one is for the waste management. Waste management, uh, separated water will be reused from the evaporation unit and it shows that 81% of water will be reused in this process. Okay, the second one is for the environmental consideration. Since this process use bacteria as they are uh, in the fermentation, so we need to install a scrubber unit for fermentation vent gas. For the second one is for the biomass. The biomass will dump in a landfill or can be sold as a compost. For the third one is the process controllability. For the process controllability, we need to control the temperature because the process is aerobic and exothermic. And for the pressure and temperature need regulation in evaporation and distillation column unit in this process. 